from Lima Airport. It is almost 6.15 and we've just arrived. We ended up taking an in-drive because unfortunately there are no buses that leave from the city center that would get us here early enough. However, the in-drive only cost 25 pesos, which is actually less than what we paid for the bus to get into the city when we arrived. So, wasn't a bad deal after all. Now we just need to head through security and then hopefully we'll get onto a lounge. And hopefully they will have a good breakfast. Fingers crossed. coming to you from the future because when we went into the lounge it wasn't busy and then it got so crowded so we just could not film our lounge review. Just so you know we were in the El Salon lounge at Lima Airport in the domestic terminal. As ever we start off with food and don't get me wrong they had a decent selection but it was all cold food. I don't think there was anything hot and it was mostly sandwiches and some cakes but it was limited the quality wasn't necessarily the best and certainly when we've gone to a number of lounges they've had one hot food but two is usually been a lot better tasting so with that we can only justify giving this one a three as far as drinks go they did have a number of juices that you could help yourself to. They also had a self-serve coffee machine that did Americano, espresso, cappuccinos, lattes, so that was nice. They did also have wine and beer and some spirits that you did have to ask for, as well as pop that you had to request. Nothing was portable, which is something that we do deduct points for, and it was a two drink per person limit, so another thing that wasn't as good as other lounges. With that, we are giving it a six out of 10. On the cleanliness front, it was decent for the most part, and certainly the staff were very attentive at cleaning up after you, and we definitely can't fault that. However, where it did fall down a little bit was just it all looked a little bit unpolished, and certainly there were some bits of food underneath some of the tables that hadn't been cleared away and things like that, and that just kind of led to a slightly more negative experience than we've experienced in other lounges. But all the same though, again, they did put in their best effort despite that, so we're going to be giving this one a 7. In terms of comfort, it started out better when there were not as many people in there because it seemed like a larger space, but then when it got crowded, it felt a little bit more claustrophobic. And they did have a decent variety of chairs that you could pick from. They even had a desk set up with stools, so there were options, and the seats were comfortable. However, the seats were in a little bit of a state of disrepair. Many of them had cracks down the center. So that's the reason we're giving it a seven out of 10. Finally, we get to the amenities. And while it did offer a couple of things like little relaxation cubbies, and there was also an internet terminal if you needed to use that. But beyond that, the amenities were pretty few and far between if at all. There were screens, there was Wi-Fi, there were charging ports on a limited number of chairs. But I think the thing that really threw me out personally was the fact that there was only one toilet per gender. Considering the number of people who were in there, which numbered at least 50, that's definitely not enough. So having to go outside a lounge in order to go to the washroom is not the experience that you're looking for. So with that, we can only give this a five. 
So with that, the grand total for this lounge is 28 out of 50. This is not the lowest rated lounge by some distance, but this is not in the mid tier of lounges either. But now back to our regularly scheduled programming. just arrived in Cusco and we are now in our 13 Solis 50 in drive which really just displays the economy of this app because it's like half the price of an Uber and like a third of the price of an official taxi from the airport. But now we are on to our accommodation. at Eco Homeview Guest House and this room plus a shared bathroom has cost us 216 Canadian dollars for 10 nights. So that averages out to $21.60 a night. And originally we didn't think that included breakfast and when we arrived they just offered to throw breakfast in for that same price. So that was really kind of them. Absolutely amazing. The room seems lovely, the hosts in particular seem to be wonderful, and apparently there's dogs around here which is even better, so I think we're going to have a lovely time here. I can't wait to re-explore Cusco over the next 10 days and go on a few bigger adventures from here as our base. Absolutely. Walking around the city to get into this accommodation was amazing. A little bit rammed because apparently it's the city's major festival that they throw every year so we had to fight the crowds a little bit but we did get here and that is the key point. A little bit is an exaggeration. It was a lot. It was scary and absolutely packed to the point where we couldn't get through the main square and we had to walk around. It was a lot to start our time off here but that's only today. Exactly. It'll dissipate over the course of our stay here, so we'll look forward to that instead. But until next time though, take care. And keep smiling.